So, hey guys, Chelsea here. Time to start trying out Gear 5 for real and we start with Grand Party. Like you have to play Grand Party on Global pretty fast is once we have the new day in a few hours, we lose three battles, so might as well get it done. And yeah, I made a team to try out Gear 5 as leader and Grand Party might be the mode where Gear 5 shines the most. Which is to me a bit sad since I don't really care about PvP in general and GP specifically, but yeah. Uh, let's rehash what uh, Gear 5 Luffy does in PvP. Uh, he buffs Psy, Strength and Dex. And we don't really need to get, go into specifics, it's decent buffs in the leader. Burst, you need to do 60,000 damage and once you've done that you can use it twice. You target all enemies ignoring death for leader base attack times 2.4 damage. So that's going to be a big nuke to everybody. And you also target strength deck side type teammates for attack up and speed up level 8, death up level 4. And you also remove any half stats applied to the team. So basically you have some ways to use this. Either you try and kill the enemy. Or you try and counter half stats. Both are perfectly viable and can probably be used at the same time too. Uh, so basically the idea here. I can also say that I've tried to make use of the buffs this season to some extent. Uh, because Free Spirit get a big attack up. Fighters get a big special city speed level up. Strength decks get speed and HP up level 5. Quick is also boosted, which is a bit funny, but yeah, whatever. And if leader is present, free spirit get even more death up. So that's what I built around. And just to explain my reasoning with these teams. Uh, for the dex and strength teams, I built them around HP cut. Just do a lot of damage fast to the enemy. Uh, get them low. HP cut does a lot of damage as well, so I hope I can get gear 5 special ready and then when it's ready just use it on a team that has been HP cutted and then hopefully wipe out the entire team that's what we're going to try so both the dex and strength teams have some HP cuts in the dex team it's going to be Mihawk doing it and on strength it's Jack and Whitebeard and strength of course has a lot of true damage too so going to be fun and see how it goes. I'm not committing to using this the, all the five days, but I thought this would be a fun first team to use Gear 5 Luffy. With that said, let's go into it. We will find to face some Roger team and we don't really have to look. Uh, let's try a hard team, I guess. Uh, it's the first Dex. Might as well use strength then, right? And then we can do striker. Yeah, this looks interesting. Yeah, let's go with this. Okay, first time I've used gear five in grand party. Let's see how he feels. Uh, this battle in particular is going to be interesting. Uh, while this does a lot of damage, it also has awful defenses. Thankfully, we do have defense boost for strength this season. Otherwise, I'd say this is not great at all. But I can see it working, so going to be fun to see. My main issue with Whitebeard is that often he ends up attacking before his special and then you never get to the second attack. So you never get HP cut, but this time it seems good. Let's see the gauge fill up here. Yes, and this is going to fully charge it, I think. I'm just going to... Oh, it isn't ready yet. Okay, good to know. <laughs> Let's see how much damage we take. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we should definitely win this, I feel like. Uh, the fun thing is that Roger uh, fills his up by taking damage, and it's the opposite for me, so... Yeah, I just think that's pretty funny. You might not even need the EX here, but I want 
Like when you face Roger, you want Roger to use it first so you can counter it. So let's see if we can get that. Yes, there it is. And we're going to counter it for sure. Let's see how much damage we do with the uh, gear fibers. <laughs> oh, yeah, that burst is like finally we got a burst that might even surpass Roger. And yeah, that was a clean first victory. Strat worked pretty well. Let's see how the Dex team works. against Striker. Uh, Dex really struggles to break through Striker normally, so it will be interesting to see how it goes. And yeah, this Dex team is very free spirit focused. I just wanted to take advantage of the season bus as good as possible. And Don Jin Yao is going to be a nightmare this with the 5 CD boost, so that's pretty nice. A lot, there's a lot of fighter free spirit here, so Xin Zhao, San Ji, Luffy all benefit from that. Or oh, is already ready. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. As you see, Mihawk really helped a lot here with getting the burst going. Xin Zhao nice to delay the opponent. Uh, we do get one kill here. Jin Yao, that's pretty good actually. And yeah, Miyok is close to being ready again. And yeah, do CD. Yeah, Roger is still pretty scary. How stats makes us take so much damage. Uh, pretty decent damage. At least Roger has no burst left, so that's a pretty big advantage to me. Even if we end up losing this, which is very possible by the looks of it. But it also feels like the Dex team doesn't charge the burst fast enough, at least to my liking, personally. Yeah, let's do some damage. Whew. Yeah, that burst is insane. <laughs> Not much else to say about it. Really, that's a shame, but more I should do some good damage here. Yeah, got the kill. Yeah, first battle worked as planned. Uh, Gear 5 Luffy does as much damage as I expected. And remember, my Luffy is just level 99 basically. He has Limbering Expansion, but still, he can get to a lot higher damage with more investment. So, yeah, going to be really scary to face. Whale Luffy's eventually. And we faced a Roger, so let's do a Sora, I guess, for some variation. Maybe we can try out the side team just to see how it works. Yeah, I think we do like this. Like with Roger teams, I had a very specific strat in mind. Like we had to start with the bad team, usually Dex, just take damage, save the burst for the final two battles. Second team Slasher, make good use of Roger's burst to kill. And then final team, hope that the Psy Free Spirit team could pull through with a Roger burst. But with gear five, we at least have a bit more 
freedom of changing up the teams. It's not as set in stone what the strategy is, so I guess that's nice. Like, Gear 5 might be fun now, but the annoying part will be when uh, we have to face a lot of Gear 5 on offense. So fun to use, but will be annoying to face, but at least Roger teams will be more chill now, since we can just use Gear 5 and basically counter him. And I said this before about Sai that Luffy himself, I don't think he's that amazing in PvP, not bad at all, he's definitely good in PvP, but not on the same level as like Roger Whitebeard, Luffy Yamato. Uh, if I had Momo as well, I didn't pull him, I'd replace Roger with Momo for sure. Yeah, let's, let's get some destruction. Yeah, you never get enough of that. <laughs> I'm always scared now I see a uh, lone sorrow because, yeah, I think you've seen uh, the atrocities that Zoro can do. But we got rid of him. Like Zoro's counter can be really scary. And this is cool that even if you don't wipe the opponent, you can still do a lot of damage after. So you're on a good way to the next burst. So let's see if Strength can win here. I don't really remember this team. It's like a striker team it looks like, yeah. Actually, pretty annoying team. I really hate Striker with Kid. I don't really think it's that good to use, but facing it tears so much RNG. But in this game, if I get Jack and Whitebeard off early, like that's a free burst ready, so can probably just win right away. I don't remember if Soros burst, I know he's pretty decent, but yeah, that's hit hard. Almost, Yak almost went down as well. Uh, two more going down now. Yeah, we got wiped here. <laughs> Not a good, great matchup. But we do have Dex left against Quick, so I feel pretty good about that. And I don't think there's any reason to wait with Gear 5, we can just use him when he's ready. So once we get the Mihawk HP card off, we're going to be ready, basically. Oh, we're already ready. But I think I let the HP card go anyway. Oh, got this as well. Sure. Mihawk, and now we go with Luffy. Yeah, that's some very good damage. Yamato not ready, sadly. I'm not a fan of Kiku Eyes on Quick nowadays, it's so driven focused. Yeah, usually Dex really struggles with dishing out damage against Quick, but yeah, when you got that nuke, then it's a lot more easy for sure. 
And yeah, yeah, it feels like Yamato is going to clean up here very soon. Looks already again. But yeah, he shouldn't be able to do that much. Tanked it. But yeah, this is over. We're going to win. And yeah, I definitely think there's improvement to be made to these teams. I just thought this would be the most fun to try in the beginning. I still think stuff like Slasher can work really well since it's basically strength in the end. Okay, one more battle. Let's get that W. Game lags so much after the update, it can be annoying. Okay, what do we get? Opposing gear 5. Let's see what he runs for teams. Yeah, why not? I think we try this out. Let's start with strength versus sticks. And what was the next one? I think we try and aim for a win in the final battle. I think we should be able to win the first one, and then the second one will be rough, but I presume the opponent will use both his gear 5 in the uh, gear 5 rushes, burst, I should say. Both burst in the first two games, so I'll be the only one with the burst in the second game, and that will be a huge advantage. But yeah, Blackbeard is also pretty good for decks, for sure. Just in my experience, he's not the most reliable. He can go down before using his special stuff like that. Here comes the Whitebeard, and as we've known, this will almost charge it. So, once I get the next uh, special, no matter who it is, we're going to be able to wipe the team, and we're definitely going to do that. Just do it. Nice wipe. And I feel like King is going to just win the battle here. As long as he can hit them. Yep, he hits all of them. So I think this should be over. And we should be on the way to the next burst. So maybe we can even win the next game. We gotta wait and see. Didn't hit Dalton. Okay. That might actually be good because now we get the kill here as well. I can't believe Dalton lived there, that's crazy. <laughs> but yeah, we got off to a big start here. So yeah, this strike team can be really good, but it's also pretty high risk depending on the matchup. Uh, let's review the team again. Okay, so we have basically opposing Psy. It's a bit too much RNG in my book, so I, I'd rather just go with Dex. We'll probably lose, but... We have the rush for the final battle, or the, I keep saying rush, burst. But yeah, with Miyok, we might be able to use the burst early here. The question is if I want to. Uh, we'll decide when the time comes. The opponent is quite a bit behind in terms of the burst. Mihawk. Okay, Sanji speeding up the team a bit. Would have liked Qin Zhao, but he got a bit bad of an order. Okay, we're ready now. Kind of want to observe a bit first. Yeah, 
Yeah, I feel pretty good about waiting. Maybe it was a mistake, but I need to get a bit accustomed to this, like it's the first day. The problem is that by losing this, my opponent will also charge the rush, so this might have been the wrong play in the end. Yeah, gear 5 on defense is pretty scary, for sure. Please use the rush. <laughs> oh, I love the AI sometimes, it's so stupid. Like, but what I hate with the AI is that it's inconsistent. Sometimes you can go a full game with the rush with the burst ready and not use it. But this was basically perfect. And yeah, I think I'll just use my burst right before it's time to start using specials. So yeah. No reason to use it right the very first second, but around 85, 80, something like that, should be fine. And yeah, I don't think it's possible to lose with the burst here. Time. Yeah, that's such damage, it's insane. One important thing to remember with Gear 5 is that unlike Roger, you don't get that house that applies, you still can take damage after the burst. But yeah, it's a worthy trade off for sure because that damage is just unreal. It's too much. Okay, so I'm going to do a lot of work here. And yeah, this is GG. Won the first three battles with Gear 5. And I feel like I learned a lot. And yeah, I wasn't 100% sure about how good his burst will be. Like, it's hard to imagine the damage before trying, but yeah, it's just surreal. It's way too good. But yeah. That's the end of the video. I'll continue using Gear 5 for the rest of this grand party. Let's see if we can get 15 wins. See? Ya. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.